According to a report out by award-winning investigative journalist John Solomon, Horowitz's team referred James Comey for possible prosecution for leaking contents of his classified memos, but DOJ prosecutors under Bill Barr have decided to decline prosecution. John Solomon does say however, that Comey still isn't out of the weeds yet, and faces legal jeopardy in the ongoing investigation into fees of abuse, and the origins of Spygate by U.S. Attorney John Durham. On Wednesday night, John Solomon went on with Sean Hannity to discuss the criminal charges against fired FBI Chief James Comey. Mr. Super Patriot himself, Jim Comey, our friends at Judicial Watch have just obtained some very compelling documents. A uh, little old Jimbo, well, that he probably doesn't want to see or to know about. As it turns out, in June of 2017, one month after Comey was fired, well, the FBI, people that he used to be the boss of, Agents showed up at his door. Why didn't we find this out sooner? They were there to retrieve his classified government memos that he was storing in his home, which is illegal. The agents also grilled Comey about the documents during an interview. By the way, that would be called an interrogation for the rest of the world. And keep in mind, these are the very same memos about his confidential communications with the President of the United States. Comey leaked those to the media through a professor friend of his at Columbia for the purpose of spurring a special counsel investigation. Now, Mr. Super Patriot Comey never should have had those documents at his house. And oh yeah, leaking classified material is a crime. Now, I don't think this is his biggest crime, in my humble opinion. I've told super patriot Jim Comey many times before, I'll say it again tonight, Jim, you have the right to remain silent. Comey's Trump memos were supposedly classified after he gave them to his friend to leak to the New York Times. This technical violation is what the DOJ used as an excuse not to prosecute Comey. How convenient. The FBI changed the classification on Comey's memos after they were leaked. Coincidence? We think not.